What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna to walk you through the process of how to change your DNS servers. Now we're not gonna go crazy in depth with this video. We are going to keep it on a pretty basic foundation, but we're gonna look at what a DNS is, what it stands for, the basic functions of it, and why it may be a good idea to change your servers to a different server. So that being said, let's jump in. Now, of course, at any point, if you get something out of this video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Not only does that help me determine what type of video you guys like to watch, but also helps our YouTube algorithm and allows our channel to grow. So moving into today's video, what exactly is a DNS? Well, a DNS stands for Domain Name System, and this is essentially the phone book of cyberspace. Without it, if we were to type in a website like Facebook or like helpcloud.com, the computer wouldn't know what to do with that because computers only recognize IP addresses or a complex set of numbers. So what we had to do is create the DNS or the phone book. So when we type in those websites, it attaches that and looks it up to the IP address. And then of course sends our request over and shows us whatever website it is being hosted on. So essentially this just allows us to remember uh, simple website names instead of complex IP addresses. So why would I wanna change the DNS server? Well, a lot of the times your ISP or your internet service provider has really slow uh, DNS servers. So swapping them can actually give you positive impacts from the time that you send out a request for the time for it to send you results back on the website. You can also change them to have better privacy and better security. If you want a little bit more in depth, I am going to be posting a blog link down in the video description that you can check out that goes a little bit in depth about all of the DNS related things. So with that being said, let's head on over to the computer and I'm gonna show you how to swap those settings. So to change your DNS settings, first off, you will need to have admin if you're not an admin because this does make changes to the computer. That'll make more sense here in just a moment. But essentially, we're gonna come on down to your little network icon down here in the bottom right. Yours might look like a little wireless icon. That's perfectly okay. Mine just shows this because I'm hardwired. If you right click on it, you're gonna left click on where it says open network and internet settings. So click on that. It's gonna open up a new window that looks like this. We're just gonna click on where it says change adapter options. Once we've done that, this little window should pop up here and you should see uh, there might be multiple networks in here or multiple connections in here. You will only want to do the one that is showing connected, which is indicated by this style of icon. If it's not connected, it's gonna say disconnected on it or it might have a red X. So you're gonna wanna determine what adapter it is that you're connected with and then right click on it, come on down and left click on properties. This is where you're gonna need to type in that admin password if you are not an admin, because this is a UAC or user account control and it will make changes and prompt for that. So we're gonna go ahead and left click on this where it says properties. I did not get a UAC prompt because I am the admin of this machine so I automatically knew that. But once you have this ethernet or your uh, adapter properties window up, come on down to where it says internet protocol version four, TCP IP version four. You can double click it or you can left click on properties. From here, we're going to pay attention to the bottom section. Don't worry about anything on the top section here. Just leave that to obtain an IP address automatically, but come on down and we're gonna change it from obtain DNS server address automatically to use the following DNS address. This is where we're gonna type in Cloudflare's DNS servers. And for them, it's saying one, space one, space one, space one. So you just type in one across the boards. You can use your space bar to skip to the next section of numbers. And then of course they're asking for an alternate DNS server in case something happens with this one, it'll revert to the alternate. And this one's gonna be one, uh, zero, zero, one. So again, one space, zero space, zero space, one. Once you've got those sets of numbers in here, you can just click okay. Click on close. You may drop out internet connection real quick and it may come back online real quick, but essentially you've now changed your DNS servers. Now, if you ever need to change them back, again, just go back into the properties. Again, it's TCP IP. And you're just gonna want to click on the little radio dial where it says obtain DNS server address automatically. Hit okay, hit okay, and you've officially changed them back to whatever configuration they had before. So yeah, that's all I have for you guys this week. Hopefully you got something out of this video and you found it helpful. If you did, of course, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. If you wanna support us in other ways, head on over to shop.helpcloud.com. We've got a lot of cool merch over there that you guys can check out. 
If you do have any other questions or comments, be sure to leave those in the comment section below. I will get to those as soon as I can because honestly, by the time you guys are watching this video, I will probably be in a hammock in Island Park, Idaho, enjoying some outdoors time, flying the drone, who knows, floating the river, who knows, but just having a nice little mini vacation. So that being said, thank you guys all again for watching and we will see you later. Peace. <laughs>